Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Paul. Hopefully you're having an amazing day. With this video, we're going to be answering a very simple question. How much additional performance can you squeeze out of your 12900 or other Intel processor by simply tightening the memory timings if you've chosen to go with DDR5 memory? So with the launch of the 12900K and other Intel Alder Lake processors, even if you go with a Z690 motherboard, you're afforded a choice. You can go with the tried and true DDR4 memory, or you can embrace the new age and go with DDR5. DDR5 is obviously faster in terms of the clock frequency of memory. For this video, we're going to be running XPG memory, which is running at 6,000 megahertz. But the question is... With the higher latencies of DDR5, can we simply get the best of both worlds and squeeze the memory timings to be tighter and therefore get additional performance, but also still enjoy those higher clock frequencies? Well, we'll find out in just a moment. For our test motherboard, we're running an MSI MAG690 Torpedo, which, as you can imagine, is the DDR5 variant, courtesy to MSI for the motherboard. It's been really good so far, super stable. We're going to be doing a lot more content with the motherboard, probably a review over the next couple of weeks. There'll be a ton of cool content, so make sure, of course, you guys sub for that. For the processor, we're running an Intel 12900K as well, which has been provided by Intel. And as I've already alluded to, we're running XPG memory running at 6,000 megahertz. There will also be some additional content uh, focused on memory stuff um, coming up as well on the channel pretty soon. I've been doing a whole bunch of testing uh, in, the, in the background. So again, if you're interested in all the lake stuff. And naturally too, when AMD launched their Zen 4 processors, which will also support DDR5, it'll be very interesting to see how sensitive those are for not just the clock frequency, but also memory and latencies as well. So do of course stick with us with that. Now let's get on with the testing, shall we? For the benchmarks then, I've chosen a mixture of both games and synthetics, splitting them across three different memory configuration tests. The first is 4800 MTS with default memory timings, you can see them on screen. The second enables XMP in the MSI MAG Z690 Torpedo BIOS, boosting the frequency of the memory to 6000 MTS with the same uh, memory timings. And the final configuration ceases going into the BIOS and leave the clock frequency at 6000 but tightening the memory timings by quite a bit. I'm leaving the Intel i9-12900K to boost to its highest potential using the board and focusing most of our testing for games anyway at lower resolutions such as 720p to help take the GPU out of the equation. Ultimately, tweaking the XPG memory here has given us significant improvements in games and benchmarks and really does go to show you that a bit of tweaking can go a long way. So there you have it guys, um, tweaking your memory it definitely does make a profound impact with a couple of caveats. So obviously your mileage may vary. The XPG memory we're running here was actually be able to be tightened quite a bit. 
Um, with that said, obviously, Silicon Lottery is definitely a thing, and obviously different memory kits will be capable of doing a lot more or a lot less, along with your motherboard. I'd also point out that for games in particular, you're going to be super sensitive to things like GPU performance. So, as you probably have noticed, even with the RTX 3080 Ti here, which is a beast of a card, when we're starting to go up to the higher resolutions, for example, 1440, P, the performance benefits become a lot less apparent but obviously that's just kind of the nature of things it'll be again really curious to see what happens when the next generation of cards launch and naturally this will be about the time that intel releases raptor lake and we get the new generation of ryzen processors and all of that stuff as well with that said, thank you very much for checking out the video. If you have enjoyed it, of course, leave a likey on the video and also subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.